Good morning and welcome to Friday at Franz. Today is week number two of our holiday quick gift ideas. So today we're going to make a reading pillow. So this is a little pillow that can hold your book and then you can lean against it. And so I found some fun fabric here that's got little cats reading. I'm going to do another one for a little boy. And uh, so I have my pieces cut. This is gonna make a 15 inch pillow. So I've cut my squares at um, 16 inches. So you can make this out of three fat quarters. We've got one for the front. We've got one that I've folded in half and stitched across the top for the pocket. So if you've got a one way design like I do, you wanna make sure it's the right way. So I'm going to pin this pocket. Um, around so I can secure this before I go any further. Okay, you also, out of the fat quarter, you're gonna have enough to make a little strap if you want a strap on it like I had on mine. So I measured, I marked the center and then two inches on each side of that. And I'm going to pin this little Thing in place. So I'm just going to, before we put the back on, I'm going to secure these so they don't move on me later. So I'm just going to quickly sew across. That, and I am going to go to a basting stitch because that's all I need for this. So basting stitch, if you don't know what a basting stitch is, it's a long stitch. So you wanna put a long stitch in here. You can see how much faster my machine's moving for each step. A basting stitch is just longer so that you usually you would use it in places you might need to take something out if it shows later. So um, we're gonna just sew this down. going to hold my pocket in place before my next step. Okay, so that's my two fat quarters. Out of my third fat quarter, I've, I've cut that in half, so I cut it down to 16 on the 18 inch piece, and that leaves me about a 22 inch piece, which I cut in half, and then on two of the long sides, I fold it in about a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch again just to finish that edge. Now another thing I want to point out is I've got um, I've got a little bit of fusible fleece on my front piece here. That's an optional piece. I like to put it in there because um, it just holds the front of my makes the front of my pillow if you're just using a quilter's cotton. It holds the front of that pillow much more securely. Uh, than it would be otherwise. So, um, I am going to, so what happens with these is they're gonna just overlap on the back side here. And that forms my back opening. I just put a couple more pieces to hold it and we'll quickly sew this around. And you know what I forgot to bring over here is some scissors. If my assistant can go get me a pair of scissors right now, that would be great. Okay, so I got a 15 inch pillow form. I cut the 16 inches, so I'm working with a um, half inch seam allowance all the way around. I'm going to set my machine so it stops with my needle down so that when I get to my corners, I can stop and pivot around the corners. Now, especially beginners, they want to just go off one end and then start the next one up on the other side. We're gonna be trimming these corners, so if I sew this and then I cut that seam, there's a possibility that that could get pushed 
start coming apart there. So it's much better to just sew up to your corners and then pivot around. Stop with your needle down. If you stop with your needle down, it's always going to start sewing again right where you left off. sewing in a sewing cabinet. I'm sewing on a table, so it's kind of bouncing all around here today as I try to sew faster. So because we've got this overlap, we just sew the pillow all the way around. Okay, my machine also lifts the foot because I'm sewing on a sapphire here, the Husqvarna Viking sapphire that when I stop with my needle down, it picks up the foot for me. If your machine doesn't do that, when you turn the corner, you're gonna have to pick up the foot to turn the corner. So I'm almost done here. So I tried to do mine with the little cat and the Library Books is a good one for a little girl. My Monster Trucks here is a good one for a little boy. Um, okay, always when you have corners, you want to trim across those corners. It eliminates bulk on the inside of your project. So we're going to just trim across these quickly. And we are almost done with our project. So we're going to turn this right side out. I noticed when I was turning my other one right side out, we got to make sure we get the pocket to the right side. And not to the back. Okay, so you're going to notice that 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 facing to the ends, that fusible fleece just gives this a little bit more body. It's gonna keep my, night, my front nice and flat, and then I'm gonna insert my pillow. But rather than, and that just goes, it's easier to put it in the one that's inside first, and I'm not gonna, well, maybe I will fight with it right now. I want to show you some other ideas. Once I started pulling fat quarters to make these, I kept finding more combinations that would really make a fun pillow. So just get stuffed in there and you've got a quick gift. So made these with children in mind. See how that back just flaps over there and my front. And they can put their book in there and carry it to whichever corner they want to work in. So I've just got some other ideas here that I pulled a couple fat quarters. I used this grouping in my um, bookmarks last week. So you can make a bookmark. In fact, when you get your fat quarter and, and cut it down, you'll have enough fabric left over to make one of the book corners like we did last week. And that's still up on our website, the directions for that. So here's one idea. And oh, here's a, here's, I thought this was really cute. So if you've got a chicken lover, you can make that. Um, other popular things right now, here's we've got hedgehogs. Wouldn't that be a pretty pillow? Or the foxes. Okay. And then the last one I picked out, this is the new Tula Pink line art. And here we got black and white. You can also give them some marking, fat, some markers. These are washable, so they can take them and color in parts of this if they want to. And when they wash it, it'll come out and they can start all over again. So another fun idea, you could just pack instead of a book or with the book, you can pack these in there also. So those are, that's my quick gift idea for this week. And again, they're on our website, www.franceowingcircle.com. And I'll see you next week with another quick gift idea.